Hey everybody, my name is Colin Slap, watchmaker from the Netherlands. And how do I recognize when my watch needs maintenance? Now that is an important and fair question. The thing is, the answer now is probably different than say 15 years ago. So sit back and relax, this video will save you a lot of money. What has changed uh, uh, in the last years? Well, the usual answer about maintenance intervals is every five years a mechanical watch needs maintenance. That's no longer the case. I'll tell you why in a minute. And the other extreme is a mechanical watch doesn't need any maintenance. Uh, I've got my Seiko for 20 years and it's still running on time. Uh, <laughs> Not entirely true and the next video will go about uh, uh, the running on time and why it's not related to maintenance and that's why the answer to the qu maintenance questions is so difficult because you cannot really see uh, uh, when a watch needs maintenance because the deviation of time will not be that much different between uh, a well-maintained watch and an old crammy watch um, mostly uh, the accuracy in different positions and the wearing of the parts because usually maintenance is preventive maintenance well what changed in say the last 15 years and this is why the discussion is changing a bit most jewelers say e every five years a watch needs maintenance. Now that is a very short interval and that will cost you a lot of money. The thing that changed is a watchmaker uses synthetic oils at the moment and that the, those taste so much better than the mineral oils we used to use because over the years they dried up a bit more friction, a bit more syrupy, a watch needs to be revised, taken, uh, disassembled, cleaned all parts, put back together and the perfect amount of oil and the right oil in the right place. But we use synthetic oil, so every five years is, in my humble opinion, a bit too much. Another thing that is changed severely in the last 15 years is how we use a vintage watch. The rise of the vintage watch, um, luckily for me as an enthusiast about vintage watches and the movements, um, the appreciation of vintage watches went sky high and that is so nice because people are really into the craftsmanship of vintage and mechanical watches and I applaud that but the change in that is people have many different watches or a few different watches but they change in wrist time uh, maybe a watch wasn't worn for a week and uh, stays in a cabinet or a drawer or whatever watch no, not not watch winder Save that one. Um, a watch that isn't running isn't wearing out. Especially when synthetic oils, they don't dry up that much. So if you leave a watch, a well-maintained watch, and you use it every other week, the wear is minimal. And there is a myth that says um, you need to keep a watch moving because it keeps the oil subtle. No, especially not with synthetic oils that is from the 1940s, 1950s maybe, but not in modern watchmaking, no chance. Mm. Cheers everybody. <laughs> so people are alternating watches and the quality of the lubrication is so much better. How do you know when <laughs> a watch needs maintenance? I'll try to talk you through it because it is a difficult question because there are so many variables. If you have um, a hardtail chopper and you're wearing a watch <laughs> or you work in an office 
or just work in the garden or uh, use a jackhammer all day uh, we got here a watch from a avid cyclist a vintage watch it was a disaster inside because it was on the cobblestones it was horrible and it was an IWC and just about the same model in the same year is worn by a guy who sits in the office and really loves his IWC uh, <laughs> the difference was insane so how you wear a watch will determine um, when it needs maintenance but how do you recognize it a mechanical watch has a balance wheel I try to show you I hope the cameras will work there we go here and now you're watching with me uh, through my microscope there we are and here is the watch that balance wheel has two pivots and that runs in a tiny bit of oil and that keeps it nice and moving because uh, if the balance wheel moves nice and freely the watch will run more accurate watchmaking is all about reducing friction so if the balance wheel is moving back and forwards it is doing so in amplitude in degrees if it's moving freely it's moving like this and if the oil is old and the lubrication isn't up to par uh, it is moving just a bit like this so amplitude is a good indication if the oil is up to par if your springs are okay if your pivots are clean and nicely polished or burnished or stuff like that so the amplitude and which it says there <laughs> on the time grapher um, I know that I'm fully aware there are many exceptions but roughly uh, 280 degrees that is perfect condition and uh, some Seiko's have been designed on 220 degrees so if it's running 220 it is perfect but that is a different set of Seiko's and for the moment I don't have a list of uh, calibers that have that specification but just be aware of that that's it so 280 is perfect not over 310 310 degrees because of the knocking or overbanking and not below the 230 because the oil isn't lubricating anymore so you are wearing your parts out so your next revision will be a repair and so much more expensive uh, so amplitude is an excellent indicator about the health of your watch movement simple answer have it checked every year every two years as a watchmaker you uh, are the client you are in charge and you are so well informed you are watching YouTube videos you know what you're talking about so you can ask your watchmaker okay you say uh, it needs maintenance why can you show me if you buy a car you look under the hood you have a test drive uh, you ask questions and you say okay I've got a feel for it it feels uh, reliable and okay trustworthy same with watchmakers uh, dare to ask questions you say it needs maintenance why um, can you tell me a bit more about the amplitude can you show me uh, what I'm looking for uh, ask to uh, dare to ask questions uh, you are a client and well informed so why not so there is no easy answer uh, for the maintenance interval if it is lubricated with uh, modern synthetic oils and it's in a drawer for years it isn't wearing out it isn't drying up the thing is don't worry too much the deviation in time isn't an indicator if your watch needs maintenance but the amplitude will be check with a watchmaker and maybe he doesn't uh, uh, you have to pay for it anyway or just a small fee and then you know how uh, your watch is 
and there's so many different users um, there is no one answer to that question because it's so personal so individual um, have it checked that's it and please don't worry too much it is a vintage it is a mechanical watch enjoy it that is important please leave your comments um, uh, uh, about your experience with watchmakers with watches um, future topics we are over 500 videos on our youtube channel chronoblight so uh, <laughs> we need some inspiration <laughs> every now and then and please share this video with your watchmaking friends and uh, again don't worry too much enjoy your vintage watch and uh, hope to see you soon see ya bye bye